What's up, YouTube? It's Analog Set here, bringing you a kind of... Well, it's not a commentary. Um, one of my lovely subscribers uh, requested me to post a video of my uh, setup, or my classes, or whatnot. So, you know, I said, yeah, okay, you know, I'll get around to it when I can, and now I'm getting around to it. So, shout out to Scotty, Scoutyism, sorry, uh, for requesting this video. So, moving on, my first class, you're going to notice some trends here, and I'll explain them at the end, but I'm just going to run through them all real quick. So, my first class, I'm using an AK-47 dual mag attachment. My secondary is a CZ-75 with a full auto. I'm using Semtex, a flashbang, Claymore. My perks are Lightweight Pro, Hardened Pro, and Hacker. Don't have that Pro yet, I'm working on it. Second class, I'm using an Enfield with a dual mag, Python dual wielding, a frag grenade, a flashbang, and a claymore, running flak jacket, sleight of hand pro, and tactical mask pro. Third class, I, I really don't even know why I have this class. I was just bored one day and was kind of dicking around. But uh, anyways, it's a Spaz-12 silencer. CZ-75 Full Auto, Frag Grenade, Flashbang, and a Claymore, Hardline Pro, Slide of Hand Pro, and Tactical Mask Pro. Moving on, 4th Class, AK-47 with a Dual Magazine, Python Dual Wielding, got a Tomahawk, a Flashbang, and a Claymore, running Scavenger Pro, Steady Aim Pro, and Tactical Mask Pro. Next class is an M16 with a dual mag, Python with a dual wielding, Semtex, Flashbang, and a Claymore running Ghost Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Tactical Mask Pro. I told you you would see a pattern. Moving on, sixth class is AUG with a dual magazine and a suppressor, Ballistic Knife, Tomahawk, Flashbang, Claymore, Scavenger Pro, Warlord Pro, and Tactical Mask Pro. And last but not least, actually this is a class that every single person playing this game should have. At least one slot with a class like this. I'm running a Galil with a Suppressor, a Strela 3 for anti-air, Semtex, Flashbang, Claymore, Ghost Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Tactical Mask Pro. Now about that last class, real quick, the only thing that you need to have is a Strela 3 and Ghost Pro. Anything else you can interchange with whatever you want. You can throw in an M60, an M16, uh, a PSG1, I really don't give a fuck, honestly. Just Ghost Pro and something to shoot down an airplane with. Preferably the St Strela 3, just because you get a few extra shots than, you know, the M72. Anyways, so now I'm going to kind of go over why you're seeing so many uh, repetitions in my class setups. And there's a method to my madness. Just hear me out. Well, to some of it. Okay, the dual mag attachment. Um, before, you know, I get scavenger or if I'm using a class that's not running scavenger, I find that I, re I'll, at least when I'm doing really good, I'll... Uh, run out of ammo way too quick. And yeah, you know, you can use dual or extended mags, but they you only get 15 extra shots. You know, if the clip holds 30, you get 45. So, you know, it's 15 extra shots. It's not that much. But with the dual mag, believe it or not, you actually get twice as much ammo. So so you know, if you start off with 30 rounds and uh I don't know, 120 bullets, you'll start off with 30 rounds in a clip, but 240 extra bullets. You know, you you basically get twice as much ammo. Not to mention, you get the added little bonus of that little speed reload with that first reload because of the mags taped together. And with sleight of hand, that thing is it's pretty much an instant reload. It's quite nice. You should try it sometime. Not to mention, uh, you know, if you're not running scavenger, like not all of my classes are. Uh, it, it's just nice to have that extra ammo, not having to worry about it. Um, I roll Sleight of Hand Pro, as I was just mentioning. Um, that's mostly because 
Uh, I like to reload fast. I'm kind of a compulsive reloader, and being able to aim down the sights faster than the other guy kind of gives you that, you know, that first strike. Uh, yeah, basically. Gives you that little extra edge, as long as, you know, they don't have it. Tac Mask Pro is probably the best third perk slot. It completely makes uh, flashbangs and stun grenades and Nova Gas utterly useless. That has little to no effect on you. Um, honestly, you can flashbang yourself and it does nothing to you. You're, you recover almost instantly. So that is very, very useful. Uh, Scavenger Pro, Ghost Pro... You know, those are self-explanatory. You either resupply or you stay hidden. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really need explaining. The Python dual wielding, I know what you're thinking. Like, what the fuck? Why are you using that? There's no point. And there really isn't. They're just fun, you know. Uh, and they're, they're really strong, too. Especially the, my, what was it? My uh, My fourth class. The one with Steady Aim Pro and the AK-47 with the uh, dually pythons. That thing, that is probably one of my new favorite classes for when I'm just dicking around. Like, you know, try hard pants are nowhere to be found. This is just my dicking around, you know, sweats. Just having fun, kind of seeing what kind of ridiculous shit I can pull off. And it, it is quite fun. Uh, you know, just running around. The AK-47 with steady aim is just ridiculous at medium to close range and then you know of course for long range you can still aim down sights it's really a fun class i would recommend it ak-47 you don't have to use dual mags if you don't want to but try it with steady aim and just run around fucking spray and praying it's it's really quite fun um claymores you know i like to rush a lot uh, i like to wander around the enemy spawn or where they might be spawning or where I think they're going to be coming. So, you know, I just like to lay a little trap, either cover my back or, you know, just kind of leave one where some hopeless fool is probably going to wander by and, you know, I'm halfway across the map and I get a kill. It's like, hey, hey free kill, why not? Um, Tomahawk, that's just fun. Uh, you know, even if you're bad at it, I'd say still try it. You know, just try and have fun with it because... There's really very few other things more rewarding than a tomahawk kill. Even if it's one of those really dumb luck ones that you didn't think you would get, that that's almost as good as uh, you know one that really required a good amount of skill and precision on your part. You know, they're both equally as rewarding and satisfying, although in different ways. But you know, it's still fucking awesome. You know, whether you knew it was gonna ricochet like that or that guy just happened to uh, you know strafe in front of it. It's it, it's fun. <laughs> um Yeah, I don't really know what else to say and this is running 8 minutes long, so you guys are probably bored. Um if anybody watches this, cool. Thanks. Uh sorry I haven't been really active lately. Just kind of been busy and my internet was kind of screwed up and had to get that resolved. But uh, I'm going to try and jump online more often, try and get some uh, more videos up. Um, I'm working on a montage. I you know, just need some clips for it. But that is going to be up. Um, I don't know. I've got around like two-ish minutes of footage. But you know, I want to try and get some at least four minutes long, maybe. So we'll see. haven't really had too much luck with like cool, crazy montage stuff. Just... Me, I don't know, dicking around. Anyways, holy shit, nine minutes. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. Our strength cannot be bad. Friendly RCXD deployed. Friendly RCXD deployed. Our spy plane in the air. Enemy Nippon strike inbound.
Our strength cannot be